again, look for danger. There's no danger. Shake the patient. No response. Not breathing. One line no. Lay the phone down. Excellent. Okay, so interlock your hands. One, two, three, four. Perfect. We start a heart day saw stall set up around Gibraltar with the aim of informing the public of how to respond when someone suffers cardiac arrest. GHA staff were on hand to teach CPR and instruct on how to use defibrillators. A recent incident highlighted just how important it can be to have this knowledge at hand. Giovanni Rodriguez told me exactly what happened. I was driving around uh, water gardens. I was waiting to see if I could find my father with my daughter I'm going on their way to breakfast like you normally do in the mornings. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw what I believed was an elderly man to trip over. So I turned around the roundabout and came back to here. And I thought on seeing him that it was just a normal seizure or that he had fallen, something basic like that. It wasn't until I turned him around and saw that he was purple and wasn't breathing that I knew it was something more serious. So I, well, I immediately asked for help to rip off his, or to take off his shirt and immediately started to perform CPR on this person. I started to doubt myself at first, um, but once I saw that it was making a difference when I was performing it, then I just kept on going. I didn't really have time to think at the beginning. With the adrenaline and nerves, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking at all. Um, so I just carried on doing it until the ambulance arrived. You need to start CPR as soon as possible, as soon as you see the person that needs it. Um, just 10 seconds can make a huge difference in saving a life. The GHA encourages everyone to take some time to inform themselves of the basics of CPR as well as to be aware of the location of defibrillators around the rock. You can find this image on our website.